It's lights out tonight in parts of the Inland Empire. Edison intentionally cut power to some customers, all to prevent any chance of the Santa Ana winds bringing down power lines and starting wildfires. Tonight, KCAL and Nicole Comstock is live in Beaumont, where some people not so happy about this, Nicole. Yeah, well, one man we spoke with said he was headed out to the store to buy a generator because he didn't want all the food in his refrigerator to spoil overnight. Another woman mentioned it really wasn't that windy out here throughout the day. You can see there's not even a breeze blowing through the trees right now. She wonders if this was really necessary. Blowing through palm trees and power lines. Santa Ana winds brought warm temperatures and low humidity Tuesday, whipping up wildfire concerns across SoCal and prompting Edison to consider turning off the power to more than 140,000 homes. By sunset, only 85 homes actually lost their power. Those people had a dark drive down dirt roads after Edison de-energized two circuits in unincorporated communities between Beaumont and Banning. It's hard to maintain things when you have your power out. Shauna Elman's husband has been at home since they pulled the plug just before three. Yeah, he's frustrated. They wonder if there was really enough risk to warrant the inconvenience. It's a little confusing. It's not really that windy. It gets a lot windier out here, so. I guess it's a good idea for the, for the company, you know, for the Edison, because if something happens, they're going to blame them for everything. But Johnny Catano says he's not frustrated his power's been off for five hours. It's like up north, like uh, for pg &E. Because he's reminded of the campfire that wiped out the tiny town of Paradise last year, killing 85 people in Northern California. Cal Fire investigators later determined it was sparked by power lines. I think I'm going to go buy a generator right now. Catano says he'd rather have peace of mind that his neighborhood is a little safer. Well, Edison's last update came out at about 8.30 tonight. They said those 85 customers were still without power and that 152,000 customers total are still under consideration to have their power shut off. So that's 11,000 more customers than just a few hours ago. Reporting live in Beaumont, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.